and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Trap News Network, back in the same, back in the same, like, cracking the same, man, like, comment, subscribe for more, that's good, Constantino, we got going here at TNN, Trap News Network, man, TNN, Trap News Network, get into that, if you ain't got into that, how you get into that, when you got into that, y'all know the deal, y'all know the deal, y'all know the deal, man, like, comment, subscribe for more, that's good, Constantino, we got going here at TNN, Trap News Network, get into that, if you ain't got into that, man, make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe button, but before you that, get into my new single, Your Love Ain't For Me, is out now on all streaming platforms, get into that, if you ain't got into that, but drop a comment, because the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers will win a $500 cash app. So if you try to get $500, drop a comment and we will be giving away $500 here at TNN Trap News Network. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal, man. So make sure y'all get tapped there with the. <sighs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We in this thing, we in this thing, though, man. We alive, we well, we blessed to be here. We got Munchie B talking to Adam22 about Draco the ruler building no jumper. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna just touch on it. Then. I'm gonna double dutch. I'm gonna hop in, hop out, right? Mm. I, I I I come across on the internet a lot, and they want to throw it in your face. They say no jumper was built on of Draco. So I guess in the, in the, in in, in his early, like early on in his career or early on when you was doing podcasting, you was doing a lot of Draco interviews and covering him. And why why they feel that way? I mean, that's kind of an exaggeration because I, I interviewed him in probably 2017 and it was definitely like a good interview and probably like his first or like his first like popular interview at that time, I think. But to say that we like built the platform on it. But you heard what I heard before, right? You heard the same I thing. I heard people say that. Yeah, well, I feel like when I think of who said it, it's like me and Ralphie were like getting into it at one point arguing and shit. And I feel like he might have said that. But he definitely doesn't mean that like literally. But to be honest, like after the whole SoundCloud rap thing, because that shit was damn near dead by like 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. Like all, all these dudes either died or fucking just fell off like pretty hard besides a couple of people. And then the next thing that was really hitting in terms of like the scene that we were involved in and shit was like Shrine Mafia, Greedo, Draco, all that shit. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the next wave that we were like associated with. And I don't think Ralphie said it. I think it was the dude, the big mouth manager, Angel. Oh, he might have Because I could, yeah. no, you, was, you was getting irritated with him. I was like, yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like the fans have not seen me trip out of people like that many times like that that like i got real mad at him we, we cool now no, i know that you glitched a couple times you you did it with you, you called a uh, beast uh whack parrot you like you, you just, <laughs> he, he, he was irritating you and i see the angel dude was irritating you a lot of times the person who pisses me off is not like i can kind of deal with whatever from the person i'm interviewing but then a lot of times they'll just randomly at the last minute want to bring a homie and that homie can be like the real problem because a lot of times they're not like media trained at all I just did one the other day with this dude C Hood, and he had his homie with him, and the homie was just oh Charlie Hood. Nah, it's like a different Chicago. Oh yeah, sorry. There's like every every person from LA. There's like another person. That's, with he's, the same that's name Trenches from News. LA. That's Trenches News. Exactly. Okay, okay. And so we interviewed him, and he brought his one homie with him, and the homie was drunk as fuck and acting crazy the whole time, and the whole time you could just see him getting more and more mad at his friend, and. uh but I feel like that's like a weirdly common thing that like somebody will bring a friend on and the friend will be like way more annoying. My homie goes shut the. I think that when you're doing interviews, you should leave your friends at home or off camera. Only the artist and the person who has been highlighted should be highlighted. Fuck up. <laughs> and you should have that conversation with them beforehand. Be I like, don't gotta have it. This is my interview, so like you could pop in and say some little shit, but like let me like run this. But like a lot, a lot of times the friend does not get that. Hmm. Is it hard um, sometimes, like? When you look back, like, dang, a lot of people that have came up here are either, that you've given opportunity are either no longer here or in prison. Like, do you ever look back or is it ever like, do you ever get anxiety going home? Like, hearing the no jumper curse. Some the no jumper curse end up D or in J. Who, who not here? Uh, who in prison? I mean, Draco, he rested. No, I'm not even up. speaking on him. It's just a lot of people that have been oh, on the I mean, platform. Even from just, the SoundCloud yeah, era. Yeah, from SoundCloud to now. There's a million people from like, even like there was one day where I interviewed Mo3 and uh, Young Dolph. Yeah. And then boom, they're both gone. Mm -hmm. There was a day where I interviewed Lil Peep and Combat Jack, who's like the, one of the first podcasters I ever fucked with, like an older dude from New York. A couple years later, boom, they're they're gone. I was like fully lost track of how many people died who've been on the and, show. It's and crazy. The podcast, they from the streets? Um, I mean, it's all over the place from like, because it's always like the dudes from the streets are more likely to die from getting shot or whatever. And then the dudes who aren't from the streets are always more likely to die from like 
perks Pills and shit yeah. yeah um what's his name he actually turned his life around with uh boot gang remember, yeah. i remember that was a crazy and i remember watching i was like yeah, it out <laughs> he's but he's all he's christian now he's changed his whole life that around good. that shit he was on could have got on shot out here Oh man, because he was tripping. Because who was it? He, he there was a party in L.A. where he got his ass beat by some dude, and I forget who it was, but it was some well-known street dude, Fox. Somebody told me at one point that the dude who beat him up was somebody you don't want to play with out here. I forget though. Dang, I don't, I don't, I just know he got his jaw broke at the Venice Beach, like, and mm -hmm. I remember it was on the air, like he did an interview with you, and he was like, I don't know, whatever he took, he was on one. I remember hearing he was a shoreline crip at one point. They put him on the hood and oh, the boot gang. Boot gang. I, I remember. I, yeah, <laughs> Hold yeah, on, yeah. where are you from? Chicago. Full apologies. Um, Florida. Is not true, but that's what they were saying for a minute there. <laughs> yeah, he's from Florida. I, I'm, I'm assuming that is not is not still a thing. Oh no no no! Hey, but you know it'd be people that that he might be from Venice shoreline in Florida. I don't know if they got one out there. No, nah, I think it was like he got put on out here. Like I, I don't think he had anything going on with it at first. He was just. Yeah. I think he was just doing stuff at that point in his life. Not I mean, to bring up his past life, but like, you know. probably came a time where he was like, damn, I need somebody to protect me out here. <laughs> yeah, because he <laughs> was hey, right. Hey, look, 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 my Venice show line, Chris, man, tap in, do his times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. The comments, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to know if he's from, if but he's from now Venice he's so long. Yeah, he turned Christian. <laughs> yeah, he's completely, his life is, Completely different. But I seen good. him fight Supreme Patty. I went and like ho uh, I like announced a boxing match that he did with Supreme Patty in like 2021 or some shit. Did he win that fight or Supreme Patty won? He whooped Supreme Patty's ass. Yeah. I was gonna say because yeah, it was you... totally unfair. He's like that? way bigger than him. Who is Supreme Patty? Um, like an Instagram dude. Like he used yeah. to be making skits back in the day. He's a white dude. Lemon juice in his eyes. Yeah, this little white guy. Hold the. <laughs> Hold on, squeezing lemon juice in his eye. <laughs> no, I was gnarly, yeah. Yeah, that dude was crazy. It was ugly. That dude That's was crazy. Shit. Hey, me, hold on. I'm, I'm, I feel offended. Me being shot and can't see shit, and you got niggas <laughs> running around <laughs> squeezing <laughs> lemon, lemon shit in their eyes. Yeah. Yes. Nah, what's his name again? Supreme Patty. I'm never clicking on him ever. <laughs> That's some I don't know shit. if he's even that popular. I just remember at that time he was, uh, he was pretty popular. Did he like, lose that fight? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. He's a <laughs> dummy. All right, man. That's Adam 22 and Drake. Uh, All right, to piggy rope. Wasn't really too, too much about it, but, you know, we're going to see what it is. Make sure you get about it. Get about it to the next one, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more. Let's get content out. We are going here at TNN. Trap News Network. Get into that. If you ain't got into that, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We are about it to the next one. Red dot to the left. Free Avenue Annual Tease Free. We go.